Well, hello everyone. This is just a little recap of all of the work that has been done, done for the ground mount solar array. Uh, this is just a compilation from the previous videos that I put up. Um, is the system done? Yes, it is done. Is it 100% done? No, about 95% is everything the way I want it to be. No, but hey, that's life. But I think it's going to serve me very well for a long time. Um, right now, you're looking at the ground screw. Then you're looking at the Schedule 4 3-inch pipe being installed. Then we move on to the later part where the solar panels are installed. And uh, then we finally come to the part of the video on the end which everybody is anxious to see. I uh, wanted to say that I officially turn on the system at around 5.30 p.m. on March 30th. And since that time, I have not been on grid. Uh, of course, I want to be, I want to have a connection to the grid, but since I'm going to be doing siding and the windows on the house, there's no point to install the rest of the equipment. Uh, one of them being a transfer switch between a grid and a solar grid. And that's what I'm going to be waiting for next. The windows and the siding, will, the installation will start at the later part, at the end of the April, I hope, since windows have already been ordered. Now, we are coming to the almost uh, end part of this. Now, I have three different types of panels on my solar array, as you are going to see in about next 10, 20 seconds. Um, even though, according to the paperwork, there should be the same width, they are not. Even though the paperwork says like that. On top of that, you see that the solar panels are kind of staggered. Um, that's just because of the way of the layout of the land. Nothing to be concerned about. And here it is. Here's the solar array completed. You can see a clear difference between all three types of panels. And yes, some of them still have pollen, pollen on it. So... Let's go and see what we got next. Well, here they are, boys. It is three, uh, four LV6548s hooked up in parallel for split, pa split phase uh, inverting for the home. It's almost done on this part. Here's the wireway. Well, of course, the panels first. I mean, the inverters first. Here they are. Here's the wireway. This is almost completed. Since I'm just running the test now for the past four days, since I hooked it up, I'm keeping it open. I think system looks cool. It performs well and so far in the last four days the system has been performing flawlessly since I switched off grid I haven't I did not have a reason to go back on it um, the highest production was today since I installed the last six panels and hooked hooked up a fourth string away the highest production today was around 13 kilowatts at around 2 o'clock when the batteries were almost full. Um, I will make a video in regards to uh, in regards to shading and whatnot a little bit later. Um, but yeah, I think yeah, about 12 and a half kilowatts. You'll see a picture here on the screen soon as how much the batteries were absorbing today um, 
as I said I gotta do windows and siding so this part here is not finished yet because I'm gonna tear everything up front kind of replace it and install that transfer switch but right now everything has been has been operating flawlessly and I can't be more happier than I am right now I started dreaming about this not dreaming but continuing my dream back in 2016 but of course at that time I made another baby so I decided to pull it on hold the baby was born and then I decided to go ahead and do it and then of course you know about my saga with HOA uh, I tried to fight it with the attorney that didn't work out um, I think it would have worked out on the end but I was just not willing to wait so I decided just to move and buy a little bigger piece of property um, cl actually closer to Atlanta than my original location and uh, I decided to do this now you ask me why did you do this why you just didn't keep the LV 5048s well we're gonna be getting an electric car and of course four of these in parallel can output uh, what is it 20 I think 26 kilowatts at the most so I think this will be good and then I will be able to charge my car off of these if everything goes as planned and we got one more room for one more power wall if need be uh, how's that going to work well we, I am going to start automating everything I have automated a lot of things as you can see in that picture that picture of um, you know uh, batteries being charged is from a home assistant so we're gonna use some of those together with the car with the electric car some of those decisions from a sensors together with home assistant to help charge the car now might be asking where the LV65 uh, LV50 they are here and the only reason why I didn't continue using these is because I couldn't put one more on there to make it for total um, and they are going to be here on sale locally if anybody is interested let me know I'll make you a deal on them okay <coughs> and then one of those more things that I'm doing right now in regards to automation is this hybrid hot water heater which I installed November 4 2020 when I was finishing renovating the home it is here and it's also included on that picture you can see it in the home assistant so the garage is a mess right now but anyways everything is working beautifully so far so good they're performing well I'm of course running a test right now to see how everything is going to perform and charging batteries slowly because I gotta learn the pattern of these pattern of these uh, inverters and how they act when charging I hope everybody likes this I'll talk to you guys soon I'll definitely post more videos as we go through automation process um, I will show more in regards to automation as time comes uh, almost not almost but every switch in the house has been automated and has been connected to the home assistant together with the garage door opener and that hot water heater and I hope when using the EVSC charger that can work through the home assistant I will be able to charge electric car too I'll talk to you guys soon post down if you have any questions I apologize I wanted to make better videos but I could not I just wanted to get this done and to be honest with you guys for one person to do this amount of work even for your own self it's a lot I was getting exhausted there on the end but I did it with love and I hope it serves me for a long time uh, as I said I'm very happy and thank you all
for watching and sticking with me and I hope other people can learn from what we post in these videos is this little not that big of a community on uh, YouTube thank you guys good night